the Bay of Bengal is a large bay in the northeastern part of Indian Ocean, bordered by India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia. We will see some more exciting features of Bay of Bengal, including human lifestyle in Sundarbans, ecology, flora, and fauna of Sundarbans. But before diving deep in, let's quickly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. This complete article is also available at www.shashankcreativity.com for absolutely free of cost. The detailed link is also available in description. You can visit and enjoy the article. So coming back to our main topic, Bay of Bengal covers an area of about 2.6 million square kilometers and has a depth of up to 4,694 meters. The bay is influenced by the several large rivers that drain into it, such as Ganga, Brahmaputra, Irodi, Godavari, and the Krishna. These rivers bring a lot of sediments and nutrients to the bay, making it rich in biodiversity and productivity. The ecology of Bay of Bengal is shaped by the monsoon climate which causes the seasonal changes in the wind direction, rainfall, temperature, and salinity. The bay experiences two monsoon seasons, the northeast monsoon from the November to April and the southwest monsoon from June to September. The northeast monsoon brings dry and cool air from the continent, while the southwest monsoon brings moist and warm air from the ocean. The monsoon winds also affect the circulation and mixing of the water in the bay, creating different zones of upwelling and downwelling and eddies. The Bay of Bengal supports a variety of marine life forms, ranging from plankton and corals to the fish and mammals. Some fish of the notable species found in the bay area sea snakes, dolphins, whales, sharks, turtles, dungongs, and mangroves. The bay is also home to some endangered and endemic species such as Irodi dolphin, the Ganga river dolphin, the olive red turtle, and Sundarban tiger. The bay is also provide important ecosystem service for millions of people who depend on it for foods, livelihoods, recreation, and cultural values. However, the ecology of the Bay of Bengal is facing several threats due to human activities and climate change. Some of these threats are overfishing, pollution, habitat degradation, coastal erosion, invasing species, sea level rise, and ocean acidification. These threats have negative impact on the health and resilience of the Bay's ecosystems and biodiversity as well as on the well-being and security of the people who rely on them. Therefore, there is an urgent need of conservation and management action to protect and restore the ecology of one of the world's largest bays. Now, we will discuss about flora and fauna of Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal has the largest water region called a bay in the world covering an area of 2.6 million square kilometers. As we have discussed earlier, the bay is rich in biological diversity, hosting a variety of flora and fauna in its coral reef, estuaries, fish swapping, and nursery areas, and mangroves. So, let's first discuss about flora. The bay supports 334 plant species belonging to 75 different families. Some of the major plant groups are algae, orchids, and mangroves. Algae are aquatic plants that can photosynthesize and produce oxygen. They are found both in freshwater and marine environments and are important for the food chain and nutrient cycling. Flowering plants like orchid that have specialized adoption for the pollination by insects, birds, and bats. They are often cultivated for their ornamental values and fragrance. Mangroves are the trees or shrubs that grows in a saline or brackish water along the coastline and the estuaries. They have aerial roots that help them cope up with the tidal fluctuation and water logging. They provide habitat and nursery ground for many aquatic animals as well as protection from erosion and storms. 
One of the most notable plant habitat in the Bay of Bengal is Sundarbans, a vast mangrove forest that spans across the Bangladesh and India. The Sundarbans is named after the Sundari tree, Heritaria forms or H minor, which is one of the most dominant mangrove species in this area. Other common mangrove species include Goran, the Kankara, the Gewa, and the Keora. The Sundarbans is also home to 13 orchid species such as tiger orchid and the foxtail orchid. Now let's come to fauna. The bay harbors a wide range of fauna both on land as well as on water. There are 260 bird species, 120 fish species, 50 reptiles species, 8 amphibian species and 32 mammals species recorded in the bay. Some of the globally endangered species that inhabit the bay are the Royal Bengal Tiger, the Ganges Dolphin, the Elordi Dolphin, the Estuarine Crocodile, and the River Terrapin. The Royal Bengal Tiger is the only mangrove dwelling tiger subspecies in the world and is found mainly in the Sundarbans. It is adapted to swim and hunt in the blackish water and has a distinctive coat pattern that help it camouflage in the dense vegetation. The Ganges Dolphin and the Iradi Dolphin are both freshwater cetacean that live in the river and estuaries that flow into the bay. They have long snout and reduced eyesight, relying on echolocation to navigate and find prey. The estuaries crocodile is the largest living reptile reaching up to 6 meters in the length. It is capable of tolerating water and can be found in mangroves, rivers, lagoons, and beaches. The river terrapin is a critically endangered turtle that lives in a fresh water. It has brown or black cell with yellow spot and orange head. Other notable fauna found in the Bay of Bengal that includes the olive ruddy sea turtle, which nests on some of the sandy beaches along the coast, the dugongs which feeds on sea grass beds in the shallow water, the whale shark, which visits the bay seasonally to feed on the plankton, the Karelia jardoni, a sea snake that is endemic to the bay, the king cobra, which is one of most venomous snake in the world, the great hornbill, which is one of the largest and most colorful bird in Asia. So these are some notable features which you must know about Sundarbans and Bay of Bengal. This complete article is also available at www.shashankcreativity.com for absolutely free of cost. You can visit and enjoy the article. The detailed link is also available in description. So if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.